So tonight I got out some chicken breasts and I was like, what should I make with these? And I had seen this recipe on the Optivia app um, that looked really delicious and it was the pepper nachos. And I decided to do my own little spin on it tonight though. I didn't quite follow from the directions. Uh, but I got three chicken breasts and I put them in the bottom of the crock pot. And then um, a part that you will not see in the video, unfortunately, I forgot. Um, I did add three tablespoons of salsa along with the taco seasoning because I wanted to make a salsa chicken. And once the chicken was cooked, there was about three to four servings, so it worked out perfectly. Um, here you're going to see the little mini peppers. I absolutely love these. They're a great snack or good for this purpose especially. Um, I did cut off the tops and make sure all the seeds were removed and then cut them the long way down um, to make two even parts. They will be later be kind of like my chips for my nachos. Aren't they beautiful? There is my salsa chicken once it was cooked. I then got my kitchen egg mixer bowl and put on some handy dandy uh, pot holders. And I pour it into the kitchen egg mixer bowl. Then I'll take it on over to the kitchen aid stand and shred it. I don't know if you've ever shredded chicken this way, but this is probably the best way to do it. Or if you have a hand mixer, that works as well. So I shredded that up real nice. And then weighed it out. This is about four ounces right there because I did decide to use the Quest protein chips just for a little added crunch on the top. So you can see me here. I took the pepper halves and I am putting the uh, shredded chicken inside of them. Kind of filling them the best that I can. Um, beautiful. Uh, then I took some reduced fat Fiesta blend and I used maybe anywhere from like a tablespoon to two tablespoons. I just put a couple pieces of cheese on each one. And then I topped it with crushed protein chips. And there it is with a little side of cauliflower rice. 